My name is Dano. I'm a certified RV tech and I work for Anywhere RV Repair and Inspection. Today we're going to be installing an alternator charger that enables you to charge your EcoFlow devices at 800 watts while you're driving down the road. What's in the box? EcoFlow alternator charger with the connections on it, a mounting plate and mounting hardware, a couple different options for the mounting hardware, a connector removal tool, a cable that connects your EcoFlow device to the alternator charger. And last but not least, a cable with properly fused that goes from your battery in your chassis to the alternator charger. This product can be installed in a variety of different vehicles. It could be installed in a truck, on RV. We're going to be installing this one in the Winnebago Adventure Wagon, and we're going to show you how that installation works here very shortly. The installation process will be very similar regardless of the vehicle that you're installing it into. Some of the tools that we need today, a set of wrenches, open end, box end wrench, Torx bits, some plastic removal tools, zip ties, and a zip tie cutter. All right, we are ready for the installation. Are you guys ready? Let's jump right in. Here we are for the installation process. Uh, we have our vehicle parked, We're, our parking brake is set. We're gonna make sure our ignition switch is off. And we are off. And then we have a battery disconnect switch here. We're going to turn that to off. So our battery is disconnected. Then we're gonna take our T25 tool and remove this plate. Put these screws in a safe place. Remove this cover. Pops right off. And now we remove this panel. And our battery compartment is right here. So now the next step is to remove this plate to expose the battery. Uh, we take our tool and loosen all of these screws. You don't need to remove these entire screws because this whole plate will slide. And there's our battery. So now we need to expose the, the battery lugs. This red one is our positive connection. And this, this one here is our negative connection. Okay, now that the battery is exposed, we have our cable to go from the battery to the alternator charger. In order to run the wire uh, into the battery compartment, we need to remove this fuse in line so we can fish the wires through a pass-through. So to remove this cover, just pull it right off. Take a uh, eight millimeter wrench and just remove this a nut and a lock washer and a washer. Got to make sure we hang on to those because we're going to reattach those to the to the fuse block once we get this wire run. Now that we got our wires run into the battery compartment, we can reattach the fuse and the connection, putting the uh, terminal back on, the washer, the lock washer, and the nut. All of our DC connections we want to have tight so that there's no movement. So where we're connecting um, our two wires here in the battery box, one, our negative connection is going to go to either the negative terminal or to a chassis ground. Uh, we can achieve that through this terminal here. Our positive terminal has to go into this box down here. So uh, we need to remove this nut and these two nuts in order to remove this box and pull it out in order to get this to a terminal on in this box. So I'll go ahead and start with that. So uh, in order to remove these, it may be easier to use a uh, socket wrench. We'll just undo these. Just pull this off and set it aside for a moment. This whole block will come right out just like that. Just for ease, we're gonna pull this off. And I'm going to just set something right underneath it so it doesn't hit that terminal, just as a little safety precaution. This box opens up with these little tabs right here. There's four of them, and they can be a little bit tricky. This cover just comes directly off like that. This is what we are exposing right here. We're going to remove a terminal nut 
And these have a nylon insert in the nuts, so they are uh, vibration proof when, when you're rolling down the road. We want to run this positive wire through this opening right here because this is all gonna drop down inside again. I'm gonna try to run this wire underneath uh, this big wire here. It takes a little bit of determination to get this wire in correctly. Make sure that's nice and tight. Now that wire is dressed in perfectly underneath here. All right, now that we have our positive terminal connected and with the fuse, we can replace this cover until it snaps in place. We'll drop this right back down on. Get uh, all the connections put on back the way they were. We'll press that down. Okay, so now that we have um, a positive terminal on with the fuse uh, with the terminal block and our new wire on there we will uh, replace everything that we've taken off on the positive side and then we'll plug into the negative side so now we're going to connect the negative terminal the black wire that we just installed to the negative terminal of the battery now we're going to continue running the wires underneath the cabinets and mounting the alternator charger That's how you install the EcoFlow alternator charger. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, drop them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. See you guys next time.